Hey guys, so today it's going to be a pretty interesting one. I'm going to show you how to create emojis uh, using free software like this one, Photopea. Or Photopea, uh, I'm not really sure how to say it, but it's a free website you can go to. You can create any type of graphics, you can create photo booth templates. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to make emojis. And then uh, later on in the video, I'm going to show you how to upload them to Darkroom Booth 3 so that people can add them into their pictures. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this off. And I'm going to go to New Project. I'll leave the, the, the link in the description um, for this website right here. Uh, so I'm going to just name this as Emoji. Uh, this, I'm going to put this as 200. 200. We're just creating the canvas and I'll leave that as well. Transparent. You're going to want to have a transparent background so that there's no, uh, it'll, it'll just be the shape of the emoji. So if we go to create and then uh, to zoom in, uh, I'm used to using Photoshop. So this is, you know, very similar to Photoshop. Um, but the, the, some, some of the commands are a little bit different. Uh, so I'm pressing Command Plus to zoom in. And what we're going to do is just create the shape of the emoji. So I'm going to go to my Ellipse tool. And then I, I typed in and found on Google this, uh, this color hex code. So color hex codes are the specific codes uh, to get a specific color for what you're looking for. So I'm going to grab this color here. Just copy this. And then we're going to go to the fill. And I believe those the radio, this one right here. See, I already entered in the gradient right here. So what the gradient is, what that's going to do is going to gradually, the color is going to gradually go from uh, this specific color to this specific color. So I've already entered in uh, this one. So if you if you need to change it, you can just go here and then just change the hex, the hex code. So if I were to press command uh, V, it pastes it and then just, uh, you can either delete the hashtag or, or leave it. Uh, just hit enter and for instance, it fills over here and I entered in the hex code. Pressed enter, it'll take me to the correct one. Just hit okay. And then the same one with this color here too. So I already grabbed it from here before, uh, just to test out. And I already put it in there. So now this is set, the gradient is set. Hit OK. So you're going to want to make sure that also, uh, this would be default as linear. Make sure it's set to radial. Okay. So I'll set that to radial. And then close this. So now I'm going to hold shift and then drag out, click and drag, and just let go. Okay, so now we got the body of one emoji, you know, and, and they're all pretty much similar. So you can honestly, you can stick with this same shape and then just create multiple different ones because that's basically what you're going to be doing is creating... Uh, multiple emojis and putting them on darkroom as a list. So if I right click and rasterize, that means it becomes a, a shape now. So <clears throat> from this point on, you can basically just get creative and just make any type of face that you want. So I'm going to keep it very simple and just make uh, like a simple smiling face. So if I hit ellipse, go back to ellipse, and then I'm going to go and choose uh, white because we're going to do the, the pupils or the, the eyes right now. So I'm going to do like an oval like so. So I'm not holding shift this time. I'm just clicking and, and dragging. And then what you can do for this, since it's, it's already on this shape, I just press uh, command J if you're on a MacBook. I'm not too sure what the command would be on a PC. 
so I'm still on the ellipse tool and I'm going to go to this tool and I'm just going to drag this out to make the second eye because I press command J to copy that first original shape. Okay, so then we'll make another uh, layer here at the bottom right. And then you can do the like the the pupils next. So I'll go to black. And I'll just uh, make something similar to that. Like so. And then command J again to copy it. I just click and drag. Okay. And it's pretty much almost done. It's it's only taken me just a few minutes. You know, very easy. So if you're trying to um, click and drag any of these, I've noticed that it doesn't let you. Uh, if you're using, there could be like a setting in, in this uh, free software where it prevents you. You probably change it, but you have to click on the shape that you want to move around. So I've noticed that. There's a few things that are different. Uh, between this and Photoshop. Um, so to make the mouth, I figured to, I, I suggest using a pen tool or maybe the, uh, the free pen. So this will just draw, we're going to leave this as blank. And yeah, we'll leave that shape. Oops. I'm going to just go back to See, I was stuck on the shape five. So I'll leave that there. I got You always have to create a new one in this one, which is, uh, I keep forgetting that step. So if I go to undo that part, and then now with the free pin tool, uh, let's see, we can <laughs> make some squiggly looking happy face yeah <laughs> he's just kind of surprised or I'll just leave him like that so let's go to fill that with um, with white and then we'll just move it around. So this, it's, I'll definitely spend more time on this, but uh, I don't want to make the video too long. I just want to give you an idea of what you can do with this free software. Um, so once you have this face set, you're pretty much done on the emoji part. Okay. So you can either um, save the PNG. So if you want to just save the PNG or PSD, PSD is a Photoshop file which is pretty cool like that's that's the um, you get all the layers uh, so if somebody gives you a, PNG, a PSD file you can uh, upload it onto this free website software and go to Tim just make all the changes that you need um, which I think is pretty cool you don't need actual Photoshop to to do that and to save the PSD you can just right here save as PSD so make sure to uh, get familiar with that too. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna to to save the PNG. I'm gonna go to background. Actually, I'm gonna uh, select that one and then select this top one here. Shift and click, and then merge layers. Okay. So now that we merge the layers, we're gonna click on this PNG button up here. That's going to download the, the shape. And if I click on that, and there, it is. there it is. So we got our first little emoji. And so now I'm going to take this emoji and I'm going to upload it to Darkroom Boost 3 so that people couldn't use them. And then you can just go back into this program and create more and more emojis. So let's go ahead and jump into Darkroom. So I'm still sticking with the trial. 
And one of the first things you're going to do to upload the emojis is go to choose for your template. I'm going to stick to this blank canvas that, I, that I've created and go to edit. Uh, next thing you're going to do is go to add artwork. And it's going to be this button right here, so graphic list. So if I go to edit, uh, we're going to add in that emoji shape. So uh, before you do that, just uh, head over to your folders. And I have the shape, uh, I believe it's this one. Um, I'm going to my USB here. No, it's this one. Uh, so I'm going to just drag this into my desktop. So I can save it onto the desktop and not have it saved on the USB at all times. So I'll minimize that. And so now I'm going to just uh, browse for that one that I put on the desktop, So which is this one. So I'm already on desktop. I'll just select this one and hit open. So uh, it's going to ask you to give a name. So I'll just put emoji. And if you hit OK, uh, it doesn't really save the name right there. So if I were to hit OK and then try to hit OK again, it says you have the specified name. And I was trying to figure out like, why it was asking me to do that. But um, I guess instead of hitting OK, you just hit uh, Enter. And then that does the trick. So, <laughs> um, so next thing you're going to do is uh, click on floating, and then click on use use as a boot sticker. Um, you can do you can test out any of these other ones too. Uh, kind of make th change things up a little bit. So if you want to uh, draw a drop shadow on the emoji, you know, give it some uh, some dimensions or something. So for now, I'll just leave it as floating and use it as a boot sticker. I'm just hit up. Okay, so let's see. There it goes again. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Enter. I'm wondering if you have to add in two in order for it to be a list. Uh, oh, maybe you have to add two and so it can act as a list. Uh, so you can place this anywhere. And that's pretty much it for this part. So I'm going to hit save. And let's see, let's test this out because I believe that should be it for this part. So if I go to edit item, you can see graphic list, uh, see floating. Yeah, that should be it. So we'll hit OK and then we'll hit save. We'll go to choose. So the next setting would be in the text. So if I go to text, uh, just make sure that the review photo is checked. Um, you can enable the doodle, uh, enable photo edit. Uh, it'll, it'll be the photo edit one. Um, that will give you that option to and change things up a little. So let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, hit start booth. OK, I think I checked the email thing, but OK. Um, so we'll click on color and we'll just let it cycle through. So at the end of this, um, you'll be able to get that option of adding in emojis to anywhere on the print template. So three, two, one, and then the last one, three, two. All right, so now, yep, if everything was done correctly, you can, you can sign it.
choosing a different color or you can pick the emoji uh, whichever one and uh, resize them so if I were to just make this bigger here uh, and then if I wanted to adjust this one and change it whichever direction that you want so get creative with this um, this idea of using uh, photo P photo Pia, however you want to call it uh, it's free software so definitely a way for you to save some money and you know um, the more you practice at that uh, the more comfortable you feel of using that software you know think of considering uh, trying to use Photoshop Photoshop is um, the next level of being able to offer more to your clients being able to uh, just be able to do a lot more on the graphic side you know it's uh, it's a very good skill to get used to and as you can see it's it's not hard at all um, so hopefully I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think in the comments I'll see you guys in the next video